Now that we have power back, welcome back to some more Stormworks. Today we have the latest update to it, another Friday update to the game. It came out a little bit later Friday, but nonetheless, we have um, a couple different things. But of course, the main thing we've got here is the solar panels behind me. And these solar panels are, of course, able to bring us some electrical power to any battery that you need. But I've set a, cu a couple different tests for it that you guys might be really interested in. Because, of course, other people are just going to be showing off the latest and greatest in game but I have a um, microprocessor that actually is looking at the output of these solar panels here so I'm going to be showing you guys the actual output and a couple things to note about the solar panels if you are going to be using them in your survival series um, games or just a regular build because they might not be as powerful as you think they are one real quick note guys before we do run over to the workshop and look at some values of all my testing. I do want to point out if we go into our time of day and weather if you turn the fog up or the rain either or that will decrease the amount that you are um, getting out of the solar panels up to a hundred percent a hundred percent fog or a hundred percent rain will mean you get zero out of these solar panels. Alright guys, it is all fun and dandy watching the sun create small amounts of power over here. But as we walk over to look at the solar panels and everything, I do want to chat a second or two about the other things in the update real quick. Which, um, the two big things is they added a radius and an area for objectives and missions and type of things so i'm not really going to show that off but if you guys do want to use that for your missions or anything you can in the future all right guys so this is the vehicle that i have been testing the solar panels on it is not a little stand or anything and the only reason i put it on a vehicle was just because um i wanted to make sure that the roof like no roofs really interacted with it like caused it to get um less of a charge value so i put it i took a euro from the workshop and i put all my testing equipment on the back here but i do want to show off real quick the microprocessor i have here that is the heart of the design and it's actually calculating out how much power we are creating with uh, my 200 array here and i have a little bit of math as well to show how much one solar panel is outputting Alright, we're going to load up power calculation 4 here. And we're going to go into a little bit of logic. And this uses something like a lot of people have designed for fuel gauges that tell you what percentage of fuel you have left and everything. But instead of using the numerical value for fuel, you're using it for the power input and output here. So we have two memory registers that the values are running into, the battery going into the first one, and the descent out to the second one. And it sends out this timer which looks between the two that send out those values and subtracts them from each other and you get the power difference here. And um, of course we are doing it every one second here with a timer RTO and a constant on signal to keep this thing um, going in a loop here with our pulse. So yeah, that is the brains of it and I actually have two of these running on the Ural here. Um, they were for two different systems, but now we actually don't need this second one here. Oh, we do need this second one here because they're running on two different things. This one is looking at the usage from the big one. This one's using the smaller motors. And I'll show you why I have the large one and the smaller ones here as well as I get it out here. And one of the things I do want to note as well really quickly before we start testing with all this the time is a big factor to how much power you're going to be producing and it doesn't seem like a lot of shade or anything will actually slow down the the um the charging here so even though i am um below a beam at the moment from the roof it should not slow us down much at all if i could stay up here but i am going to turn on my light real quick and we're going to throw that electric motor over there just on real quick and off and as you can see now we have these 200 solar panels producing about 0 0.01 i guess watts of power and it's bringing this small battery up decently well, but the small battery holds 
nothing almost if you guys have ever played the game it can barely charge a few lights maybe if i can remember correctly they may have changed the values around for it but it's not extremely powerful as you can see we can run small motors we have one small electric motor here at about 50 percent and we're still gaining a small percentage of power, 0 0.0038. It's not even in the 0, 0.00 that shows when it pops up above it. But if we give it any more power or if we run gearboxes off of that, we'll start to lose power per second instead of gain it. We can run about 50% on this one as well. And we shouldn't be... Yep, we're still not losing power. But once we put on a a two times gearbox or a three times gearbox we'll still be losing well oh i said those wrong this is the two times this is the three times so we've got the two times running it almost as fast and we're still gaining a pinch of power so I do apologize I switched those over, but you guys know what I mean there. If we do turn on the three times as well, we lose so much power. So, looks like exactly 50% and those two, the, um, the two times gearbox going, seem to have made it decently stable, bringing in a bit of power. And that got us about, what is it, 16 to 17 RPS. This one only gave us nine. So if you are looking to run it off of about 200 solar panels, you can run something like this, 50% with a um, 1 to 2 gear ratio, and you will be adding power instead of subtracting it per second, of course, but the, your battery is going to go nowhere. And if you have a larger battery, um, the changes are a lot more subtle. I don't know if this will work exactly or not with it. I haven't tested that either, but I'm just flabbergasted how small amount of power each one of these makes. And um, through editing, I'll show you real quick. Um, we have 200 solar panels here, and if you divide that by the 0.1 zero nine amount of power we're making they make each single solar panel at the peak efficiency makes less than point zero 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 five power or maybe a tiny bit more but still that is a crazy small number here that we have going it, it's it's almost I don't, I don't want to say it's not worth it, because of course you're getting energy from nowhere, it's free energy. It's definitely worth it to throw on there, but these add double the weight from a regular block, and you'd need a whole field of them to produce a decent a bit of power to power anything. And I have a couple ideas of how to remedy this, but still it's just, I don't know. I, I, I don't want to say I don't like them. Of course, I love that they added them into the game. It's just the amount of power they make is pitiful. So, yeah. Of course, I am going to put up the little microprocessor that tells you how much power you're outputting. If you guys do want to look at that, and all it uses, I'll go back to the workshop. Um, it doesn't, you don't have to connect it to all the solar panels like you have to do to the one battery. All you have to do is connect the, uh, the data up to the battery here, and then that one up to a display port. I would suggest a digital one for all those, um, smaller values because maybe if you have uh, let's say a thousand of these you'd be making 0.1 watts per second so it would take you about 10 seconds to get a watt of power i believe or whatever unit we are getting here but yeah i am looking forward to what people design with these but that is the burning question though one makes almost no power like it's crazy and I don't know, hmm. it'd be cool if maybe in the future you could add them together and that increases the amount of power they make, but I don't see that really happening. Anyways, it looks pretty funny because we have all the smoke from the engine coming out under the solar panels. Uh, and let's turn that off and put some parking brake on it.
Before I do end the episode here, guys, I do real quick want to go back and, um, I, I'm jumping off of this car probably 20 times this episode now. I do want to point out that all of my testing has been at around 12 o'clock. If you get exactly 12 o'clock, I believe that's peak. But if we go, let's try 10 o'clock real quick, drain the battery. Our production of power, if you guys do remember, we had at about 110.0110, not 110. Um, sorry about that. But at about 10 o'clock here on the time, 1016, we have 0 .007. So we've lost 30% uh, of it. We can go to 8 o'clock. I'm doing about two hour increments. We're getting 0 .002. We just lost about 60%. Then again, the sun is just coming up at this time. And then if we go at about 6 o'clock, it's just rising and we don't have any power. And I assume going the other way, we get 1400 here. We're going to get almost 0 .007. We can go 1600. Yeah, it's almost exactly the same. And I've found that a lot of obstructions don't really decrease the amount of power you're making. Like if you park it behind a building or something and the sun shines this way, that won't decrease the amount of power you're making. Um, unless it's something you build above it. I don't know if it'll actually... I haven't... I could be wrong about this, but a lot of things... Uh, don't really affect the solar panels. Of course, if you park it below ground or inside of a building that probably doesn't have windows on it, on the roof, I believe that is going to stop them. And of course, if you do flip the vehicle over or something, then they won't create power as well. But it seems like they create power for the most part for as long as you have them out in the open, even if there is shade on them. So yeah guys, that has been my testing of the solar panels. I mean, I am a little bit disappointed, but I am still really happy that they are in the game, don't get me wrong. Just, I thought they would give you at least a little bit more power per block than... Or they would have been a bit bigger or something and created more power. I don't know. They just don't seem to give you so much power that it's extremely worth it. And I still don't know what price they're going to be in survival so that might be a big deciding factor if you actually do want to put like a few hundred of them on a boat if they cost like 50 bucks for one block like if you put a thousand of them on there to keep a motor running that's going to be well fifty thousand dollars i i don't know how feasible that is for a survival series or survival gameplay yeah, anyway, I'd love to hear what you guys think about them in the comments down below. But that is all the time I do have today. So, of course, if you guys like this, please leave a like and consider subscribing to the channel to stay up with Stormworks and more of my content. But I've never been great. Goodbye. My people need me and I need to go.